Hi everybody, Dan Ullman here with the DRF Bets Race of the Day for Wednesday, December the 27th. It's race number eight at Tampa Bay Downs. Remember, when you sign up right now for DRF Bets, you can access a $200 free bet, no deposit required at drf.com forward slash join. Please use the promo code FREEBET09. Now let's take a look at the field. It's a full field of two-year-old maiden special weights going one mile on the turf. For free formulator pass performances of this race, please head on over to the Race of the Day event page on drf.com, download those free formulator pass performances and handicap along with me as I take this field in post position order. We will begin down towards the inside with the number one real story and there are a lot of things to like about real story. A first time starter by first crop sire fast bullet who has gotten off to a fast start with his two-year-old debut runners. Four for 11 thus far, zero for one with his turf runners, but there is plenty of turf on the bottom of this pedigree. Real Story is a half-brother to Maya Fleet, who won the Dueling Grounds Derby on the turf, the Dam won on the turf, and she has sold three turf winners from four horses to try the surface. The Dam is also a half-sister to a multiple stakes winner, a horse that won both on turf and on synthetic. So Real Story has a great pedigree. She has a nice inside post position, and she has a very shrewd trainer in Nacho Correas. Here's the formulator fact for the one real story. Over the past three years with two-year-olds on the turf, the Correas barn wins at a 22% clip and a return on investment, a big one, $5.62. You might want to consider the one real story. The number two is Big Agenda. Two to one on the morning line may not seem like an appetizing price for a horse that's only run once and was beaten six and a quarter lengths while only out finishing three home to the wire. But I thought Big Agenda did some good things in that maiden special weight at Aqueduct for trainer Christophe Clement. He was really buried down towards the inside, steadied entering the backstretch, last on the rail on the far turn, steadied again at about the 516th pole, and really never had a chance to run while well down on the inside. He's getting Lasix for start number two, and this is another horse that has a good turf pedigree by the turf-loving Data Link. The dam won on grass, and the dam is a half-sister to the multiple stakes winning turf sprinter Varsity. Again, Lasix on on for start number two. Big Agenda gets a little bit of class relief. One of the horses that he faced last time out returned to Meyer 66 when finishing second in a maiden special weight on, on dirt at Aqueduct. Big Agenda seems to fit two to one, a little bit light, but this horse deserves major consideration. The three is Igida, who was bred in Korea by Ecton Park. 7% winners from two-year-old debut runners, 11% winners from first-time turf performers. The dam was zero for 23 in her career. She was 0 for 12 on turf. Turf. She has fold one turf performer that did not win. The dam is a half sister to a multiple stakes placed runner named Riviera Colleen, who was stakes placed on both dirt and turf. There is a big gap in the work tab. Trainer Ben Colbrook does good work, but I'll take a wait and see approach for the three. Igida in our DRF bets race of the day. The four is Big Clue, who added Lasix for his most recent start at Gulfstream on October the 1st. He showed improved speed and then he packed it in. In all four starts, he has yet to hit the board. He has not been less than 54 to 1 in any of those races. Perhaps we'll see some brief speed here. The runner up from the most recent try came back to earn a 57 buyer when second again at Gulfstream West on the turf. The five's interesting. That's Hurry Up Harry. 7 to 2 on the morning line for trainer. Graham Motion. He made his debut going nine furlongs, and that is not easy. It was a race that was washed off of the turf. He took a little bit of money, and he was no match for those horses beaten about 10 lengths. His late sire, Scat Daddy, wins 14% with first-time turf runners. There's a lot of dirt on the bottom of the pedigree, however. This dam was a multiple stakes winner on dirt, 0 for 2 on the turf. She has full two turf runners. None of them have won. And the second dam was a multiple grade one stakes winner on the dirt. But this is a strong barn, Graham Motion. Enough turf on top with Scat Diaddy, I would think that Hurry Up Harry will give an improved account of himself on Wednesday. The six is Ioia again, and Ioia again has a powerful turf pedigree. He is a half to four black type earners. The grade three stakes winner, amazing results. The multiple grade three winner, Ioia big time. The dirt stakes winner, Mavericking, and the turf stakes winner, Io Ireland. There is a lot of turf in this pedigree. The dam also excelled on the weeds. A grade three stakes winner, she has fold seven turf winners from eight horses to try the surface. Those are the good points. The Sire Fort Prado isn't 
really known for winning first time out, however. Only 9% with two-year-old debut runners, 7% with first-time turf performers. I believe he only went one for 29 with his first-time starters in 2017. A lot of turf pedigree on the bottom for the six I owe you again. A horse I think that'll run well first time out at a nice price, 10 to 1 on the morning line. The seven is Golden Fleet. This is Ohio bred by Northern Fleet, who wins with 9% of his first-time turf runners. This dam was a stakes-winning dirt sprint. Golden Fleet made the career debut at Remington Park on the dirt, finished fifth, beaten about 11 lengths. Here's a formulator fact. This trainer, Tim Padilla, not known for winning with a dirt-to-turf mood, 3% over the past five years, a 36-cent return on investment. The number eight is Ox Trot. This is a Calumet Farm homebred by the first crop sire Oxbow. This damn one on the turf. This is from the Claiborne family of the Big Dirt Stallion and Racehorse Pulpit. Oxtrot made his career debut in Ireland back in August, and he took on some good competition. The winner of that race, Landshark, came back to run second in a Group 3 race overseas in Ireland, and the runner-up actually shipped to North America and ran second at Del Mar on the turf with a 64 buyer speed figure. So Oxtrot took on some big competition overseas, gets Lasix for his first start in North America, 5-1 to one on the morning line for Ox Trot. The nine is Prophetic Dream. The source only sold for $4,000 as a yearling. His young stallion passion for gold has gotten off to a pretty good start at stud. Two for seven with his first time starters. One for four with his first time turf performers. The winning dam went 0 for 1 on the turf. Has foaled one turf winner already. Only two workouts leading up to the career debut for the nine. Prophetic Dream. The ten blaze a trail is the final horse in the body of this field. This horse tried to stretch out from six furlongs to nine. That's not easy last time out and caught yielding turf as well. Showed some brief speed before tiring. The third place finisher came back to earn a 69 buyer. Went third and an off the turf maiden special weight at the fairgrounds. This horse is by the turf loving point of entry and might be okay on firmer ground but has to deal with a tough outside post position. Let's take a look at my pick for race number eight at Tampa Bay Downs on Wednesday. I think Big Agenda is going to get through this. Ran okay in the debut while being buried down on the inside. I would not take two to one. I would take five to two. However, if the horse goes off less than five to two, you might want to consider keying Big Agenda on top in exactas with the six. I owe you again. Big Turf Family, first time starter. The five, Hurry Up Harry. And maybe even the four, Big Clue, who has turf experience hasn't done much running yet, but hopefully this will be his first start with Lasix on firm turf. I like Big Agenda. I went 2, 6, 5, and 4 in our Wednesday DRF Bets race of the day. Again, if you are playing the Wednesday Tampa Bay Downs card from home, $200 free bet just waiting for you. No deposit required. DRF.com forward slash join. Please use the promo code FREEBET. Zero 09. An approximate post time for our DRF Bets race of the day is at 3.53 Eastern. Best of luck.